let me give you one number pattern one sequence of the numbers 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 Mm, is there any connection between these numbers? Doesn't look like, right? But in this story, we are going to find out how this number pattern is linked with beautiful patterns in nature. Let's hear the story. The title of the story is The Fascinating Fibonacci. Author, Shonali Chinniya and illustrator, Harikumar Nair. It's a Pratham Books Story Weaver publication. Numbers. We use them every day to count, major, call friends on the phone and even to find out what something costs. But did you know you can also use numbers to create patterns, geometrical shapes, rangoli designs and more? Did you know number patterns can be seen within patterns in nature? But first, what is a number pattern? A number pattern is a sequence of numbers where each number is connected to the previous one in one specific way. Take this very simple number pattern 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. How, how is each number in this sequence connected to the one before? Well, every number in this sequence is the previous number with one added to it. Here is another number pattern, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6. Each number in this sequence is the previous number with 2 subtracted from it. Now for a slightly more tricky pattern, 0, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. How does this sequence work? Let's see. 0 plus 1 is 1, then 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. Do you see the pattern here? So what will be the next number in, in this sequence be? Yes, it is 21 because 15 plus 6, that is 21. Now let's take the number pattern we just discussed, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 and see if we can create a shape pattern from it. We, yes, we can. We now have a shape pattern of triangles that get bigger and bigger as we increase the number of dots according to our number pattern. A number pattern has become a shape pattern. If you found that interesting, it's time you were introduced to a beautiful number sequence called the Fibonacci or Hem Chandra sequence of numbers. The Fibonacci sequence of numbers goes like this. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. Can you find the pattern that connects these numbers? Yes. Every number in the Fibonacci sequence is the sum of the two numbers before it. So like this, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 8, 21, 21 plus 13, 34. Got it? Good. Now for the really interesting part, linking this number pattern to patterns in nature. The number of petals flowers have are often linked to Fibonacci numbers. Can you think of flowers with 1, 3 and 5 petals? These are all Fibonacci numbers. Here are some examples to help you along. One petal that is uh, Anthurium and Calla Lilies. Three petals, Bougainvillea and Clovers. Five petal flowers are Temple Tree, Hibiscus, Jasmine. Flowers with two petals are not very common. The crown of thorns is one example. Flowers with four petals Four is not a Fibonacci number, are also rare. Count the petals of flowers that you come across and see for yourself. 
द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग फ्लावर ऑफ ऑल वेर द फिबोनाची सिक्वेंस इज कंसर्न इज द डेजी डिफरेंट डेजी स्पेसीज हैव थर्टीन ट्वेंटी वन और थर्टी फोर पेटल्स विच आर ऑल फिबोनाची नंबर देर आर इवन मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड स्टनिंग पैटर्न इन नेचर दैट अपियर टू बी बेस्ड ऑन द फिबोनाची नंबर इफ यू आर विलिंग टू डू अ लिटल मैथ यू कैन सी इट फॉर योर सेल्फ शेल वी ट्राई इट आउट नाउ वट वुड वी गेट इफ वी स्क्वेर्ड ईच ऑफ द नंबर इन द फिबोनाची सिक्वेंस फिबोनाची फिबोनाची सिक्वेंस इज वन वन टू थ्री फाइव एट थर्टीन एक्सेट्रा इफ वी स्क्वेर्ड ईच ऑफ दीज नंबर वी वुड गेट वन इन टू वन दैट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ वन इज वन टू इंटू टू दैट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ टू इज फोर थ्री इंटू थ्री दैट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ थ्री इज नाइन फाइव इंटू फाइव दैट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ फाइव इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एट इंटू एट दैट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ एट इज सिक्सटी फोर थर्टीन इंटू थर्टीन दैट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ थर्टीन इज वन सिक्सटी नाइन सो द फिबोनाची सिक्वेंस स्क्वेर्ड विल बिकम वन फोर नाइन ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्सटी फोर वन सिक्सटी नाइन एक्सेट्रा नाउ जस्ट लाइक वी कन्वर्टेड अ नंबर पैटर्न इन टू अ शेप पैटर्न विद द ट्राइंगल्स बिफोर let's try to convert the fibonacci sequence squared into a shape pattern let's try to draw one square two square three square and so on one square is easy enough it is just a one square two square is drawn like this two squares across and two squares down we know that two square is four so there are total four squares in the figure so it will be like 2 by 2 we can say similarly Three square is drawn is uh, drawn as three squares across and three squares down. Again, we know that three square is nine, so there are total nine squares in the grid. Five square is drawn as five squares across and five squares down, making a grid of twenty-five squares. Eight square as eight squares across and eight squares down, making a grid with sixty-four squares. 13 square squared is drawn as a grid with 169 squares and so on now let's push all the grids we have drawn so far towards each other and arrange them in some order now draw a smooth curved line from one corner of the smallest grid to its opposite end as shown here so for the people who are just listening this story i can just summarize as in between in the center of that figure you can start putting the smaller grids like 1 then 4 then 9 then 25 and so on so we can just do a shape like starting from the center coming down and then again going upwards and at the right hand side we can put the biggest square that is with 169 squares now take the same curved line through each of the other grids from smallest to uh, from smallest to biggest from corner to opposite corner ending with the 13 squared grid what we get is a lovely spiral pattern what is the link between this spiral pattern created by squared fibonacci numbers and nature well the exact same fibonacci spiral can be found in nature where let's see shall we Here is the Fibonacci spiral with one more grid that is 21 square added to our original figure. See how the spiral continues. Does the spiral look familiar? Of course it does. You can see the Fibonacci spiral in sea shells. So snail shells even eggs. See how this spiral goes the other way that is anti clockwise as compared to the clockwise spiral. even larger structures like hurricane and even some galaxies seem to follow the fibonacci spiral pattern fascinating isn't it now the brief history to end this exciting tale of fibonacci numbers let's touch briefly upon the history of the fibonacci number sequence in the 11th century almost 1000 years ago a jain scholar and monk called hemachandra who lived in present day gujarat 
discovered an interesting mathematical pattern while studying poetry and music. He was looking at the number of different ways in which you could combine long and short sounds in music to create different rhythmic patterns. Around 100 years later, an Italian mathematician called Leonardo Fibonacci, that is way back 1170 to 1250, wrote about the very same mathematical pattern in his book, Book of Calculation in 1202. Fibonacci travelled extensively along the Mediterranean coast and uh, meeting merchants from the east and finding out about how they did mathematics. It is possible that Fibonacci came across Hemachandra's sequence during his travels but since he was the first one to introduce to uh, introduce it to Europe, these numbers became known to the world as the Fibonacci sequence. A word of caution, although there are many examples in nature that seem to follow the Fibonacci pattern, there are also many examples in nature that do not follow this pattern like four-leaved clovers or flowers with four petals. What is intriguing though? is how often these Fibonacci numbers do appear in nature. So far, scientists have not figured out why nature seems to love Fibonacci numbers so much. Maybe you can find the answer when you grow up. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.books.speak.com Eruwa wee! Eruwa wee!